played for probably four hours. No, it's got to be more than that. I played for like four to six hours, and these games, um, the really good ones, and I do really like this one, I really like the puzzles in it so far, do last longer. Maybe that's just because the puzzles are harder, but I've never had one go over like ten hours, I think. I'd have to look in my Steam, but, but yeah, um, I'm gonna check my checklist. I know last time I streamed, I was solving a, um, puzzle that I, that I was like, oh, this will take like 30 minutes, and it ended up taking like an hour, um, and then I didn't even finish it because I was so tired, I just had to get off, but I, the last thing I found was a uh, little clue, it might be with this, that said, yep, oh look at that, that said like where the dog is buried or something like that. Mm. Where is it? Did, I mean I definitely did the puzzle but I don't know where it is. Maybe I turned the page? Maybe I didn't actually take it with me? It said like under the dog or something like that and I just don't think that there's anything I know. Um, but I'm gonna check my to-do list. Did I explore every inch? How have I not explored every inch? I, I, am I gonna have to like go underground or something? Got Fine letter Bruno was oh, reading. Dang. I already did that. Oh no, did I not save? I don't know, I might have to go back to the graveyard to get that. I don't have all his Still his glass eyes. I have this many. Which means I have two, four, six left. Follow the clues he left, see where they lead. All I did done. follow that. Do it steps in the all right done. direction. I solved a lot of puzzles last time because that was my like main focus last time I streamed was just finding eyeballs. Figure out what to do with the key. Can't check that off yet. The buzzer drop. No, I don't I don't know how to do that yet. Ask best thing another look at the old photo. See if the name of his dog is on. Do that. Okay, so under the dog, I, there's presumably like someone in the cemetery with the same name as the dog. So that's what it wants me to do, so I gotta call Bess. But let's call Ned first. Because I love Ned. I hope Ned comes into Hi, like a game hey, like Bess What's going on? Mm. Let's see what he can offer. Me. You bet. This will do the face of his family. I already did that. Never mind. I'll call you later. Bye. Call you later. Bye, Bye Ned. Bess. And then we're gonna body swap. <laughs> My voice broke. Hello? Hi, Bess. How you doing? Great. I just took a nice, luxurious bubble bath and I'm ready to boogie. When are you coming back here? <laughs> it's kind of hard to say. But um, listen, I'm never coming that back, Bess. <laughs> I'm here that until the mystery is solved. Want? Yeah? Did it look like it was maybe taken in the 1920s? That's exactly Man. what it looked like. Why? Because I'm gonna... I need to find out the name of Bruno Bollet's dog. And if that boy was Bruno, then that was probably his dog. Was there any writing on the picture? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think it said Bruno. That's all it said? Just Bruno? No, it, it said Bruno and, but whatever came after and was hidden by the frame. Why don't I not just I jack really all that stuff? I really know the name of that dog. Oh, I should have no. just said, no, like, hey, no, Lamont, I'll just buy it all. Uh -uh. Bess, just get into that box again and see if the dog's name is on that picture. That's all I want you to do. I'm fidgety, oh, sorry. I can't just go waltzing into Lamont's back room. Then he's for sure as heck not going to fall for that sneeze contraption again. There must be some other way you can distract him. Please, Bess. I can't tell you how important <laughs> Let me see. What, what, what if I say no? Please. Absolutely, unequivocally, for the last time, no. Ah, who am I kidding? We're not nah. have any fun here until you solve this mystery, and since you can't do that until I do this... Considering that okay, we're like 18 years old, I... I mean, I will if I don't screw up. Thank 
I'm sure there is stuff to do in New Orleans, but it kind of makes me, well, it's not as bad as, like, Vegas. But I know that, like, a lot of the stuff to do is, like, going to bars and, like, I guess you could shop around without going to bars. That's, I don't know, I've never been to New Orleans, I'm just making some stupid assumptions. Hey. You know, I still feel guilty about that sneezing thing, so how about I go get you a nice big bowl of gumbo? Just so happens I'm starving, so hey. I love do. him. Great. I I'll love his right outfit. Back. Love his voice acting. What, am, am I supposed to go buy it? Gumbo. Can I get a gumbo to go, please? Eat up. Lots of sauce. Okay. That my gumbo? There you go. Enjoy. Put hot sauce on it. You like hot sauce? Mm -hmm. Can I go in the back room? Uh oh. Oh, you're gonna have to excuse me. Is he intolerant? Did I poison him? I've never seen that fast acting. Uh oh. I better get out of here. Bruno and Grant. Can I? I would like to get out of here. Oh, okay. It's just gonna automatically. The dog's name was Grant? That's what it said on the photo. Kind of a weird name for a dog, huh? Yeah, well, Bruno Golay was kind of a weird guy. I don't know. That's not a bad name for a dog. You've been a huge help. I'll tell you, being Better than, like, takes a lot out of me. Cooper. I still don't know when I'll get back there, so just kind of hang loose, okay? Story of my life. Call me if you need me. I will. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna go look at the thingy. I'm thinking it has to be someone first or last name Grant. Derek Grant, Writhing Roots. Hey, an eyeball! A pirate hat! Oh, a pirate hat for a the iguana! Because there was a one accessory missing from her... his? I don't know if he's a boy or a girl. From their, um, outfits. Do I have a... what was it? It wasn't a citrine, it was something else, but... <laughs> really the only thing I can think to do. Is get a freaking piece of fruit. But my arm hurts. <laughs> oh, I'm so close right there. Gah! <sighs> okay, I gotta make this count. <laughs> oh, pirate hat right there. So, I should be able to make him a pirate, I think, is what. Um. Iggy, how about a oh, low nice clock. juicy low clock? I remember now. Because it said it on the screen. So that's how I remembered. Okay, you're gonna be a pirate. Okay. Um, I don't know what goes with that pirate. Yep, it's got a little parrot. And a little swashbuckling. Yes. What do you have for me now that you are a pirate? Ooh. The name that opens every Jolly Roger meeting opens me. Bruno, as usual, a good time was had by all your fellow Jolly Roger Gilbert. Jolly Roger. Well, the 
Jolly Roger crew. From New Orleans, hereby invites Dr. Bruno Sinclair Belay to join us hallowed ranks. Speak of the snow one, save the man who has championed you and will, should you accept this invitation, serve as your sponsor. Yeah, that doesn't, um, doesn't help me. Oh, I forgot about this. What does this mean? Hmm. Hmm. Name that opens every Jolly Roger. Eyeball collection. Let's see what my to-do list says. Call us have an update Jolly Roger's crew Catch meeting. Oh. Yeah. Did that. Jack. Huh. Jack. Still have to do that. So I've got two things. Oh three. But the finding the glass eyes is like the main. Call best and have her infiltrate the Jolly Rogers. I don't know that that's it's a lot easier said than done. Hello? Hi Bess. Listen, you busy? Uh why? I need you to do No, she's not busy. Me. She's waiting for you, why? Nancy. I need you to infiltrate the meeting of the Jolly Rogers crew that's about to be held at Rampart and Jermaine, which has got to be right near Z. Oh. You're going to have to look around for it. Duh, that's now, what that means. The meeting, you'll need to put on that skeleton man costume you saw in the back room. And once you're in the meeting, you'll need to listen for the name that opens the meeting so you can tell me what it is, okay? Mm. No. Beth, I know you don't like to do stuff like this, but this is really, really important. <laughs> I'm going to say no again. Important. And it's going to say, oh, the, <laughs> the same exact thing that said I last promise. time. Absolutely, unequivocally, irrefutably, incontrovertibly, no. Which, of course, actually means yes, because if I don't do this, I'll be stuck here by myself until you give up. And since we both know you will never give up, I don't suppose it would do any good to point out that the curio shop is closed. You'll find a way in. Oh, and if anyone at the meeting asks, I have the to break in. Okay, I'll give it a shot. That's okay, so the okay. calendar thing is not a puzzle to figure out. Um, it's just it had the password, so and the location, so. I don't like how how much it paused while it was doing that animation. <laughs> Earl, little Reggie. Hello. Okay, I found a back door into the curio shop, but it's locked. Describe the lock. It's a keypad, but I have no idea how many numbers I need to enter, let alone what Four. numbers and in what order. I have an idea. Want to hear it? Yes, please. Okay, you've got your compact, right? Oh. Of course. Good. Use it to dust the keypad. The smudges that show up will tell you which buttons are part of the combination, and how dark or light they I'm are supposed will tell to you just the order which you should press them. You're a genius. Thanks. I guess call Nancy should be my uh, first instinct, but I didn't want to switch bodies with her. What'd she say, the most to the least? I think it's the other way around. Wait, what did she say? Oh, do I need five? Because five's even less. X is the clear button, I thought it was the enter button. Okay, just breaking and entering. Trespassing, no big deal. Let's 
skull bones. Password. password? Right. Uh, let's see. Uh, scuttle bones. I hate the way it, like. Better hurry, we're just about to start. I literally just have to hear one word and then <laughs> ski that. It seems we have an uninvited guest. Get him. Uh, oh. oh no. Let's well, this go. ain't good. You're making a big mistake. Let go of me. Look, I'm not here to make trouble. You're making a, a big deal out of nothing. Can we just talk about this? You are be taking me if you just let me explain. Dang, I was thinking the Jolly Rogers are just chilling. Let's have a look. Of the female variety. That's right. You know me and I know you, Dr. Buford. And I also know that you were the one who attacked my friend over at the Bole Mansion today. And if you don't tell me why right now, I promise you, you are going to be in one big world of hurt. I'm spooked. The young lady's clearly upset about something. Clarence, take over the meeting while I try to find out why she's making all these crazy accusations. They're not crazy and you know it! I will tell you everything, Miss Marvin, in private. And he okay, did. but like... He told me everything, Nancy. I bluffed him into confessing. You would have been so proud of me. Oh, and before I forget... The name they chanted at the start of the meeting was Jean Lafitte. Jean Lafitte. Great. Now, what did Dr. Buford tell you? Okay. First off, he said that with his dying breath, Bruno Bollet directed him to steal the painting of Henry's parents and lock it up in Henry's parents' crypt. Bruno seemed to think that way, Henry would wind up with the crystal skull instead of somebody else. So Dr. Buford dressed up in his skeleton man costume stole the canvas and hid it in the crypt like Bruno asked. That must have been when Renee saw Mr. Death. But then, Dr. Buford had second thoughts and decided to hag with Henry. He wanted that crystal skull for himself. So this afternoon, he dressed up in his skeleton man costume again and snuck into Henry's house so he could get the key from that mini cemetery and retrieve the painting he'd left in that crypt, knowing the painting would somehow lead him to the skull. Only I walked in on him and ruined everything. Right. And now that we're on to him, he says he no longer wants the skull. He's embarrassed that he allowed his superstitious side to get the best of him and says whoever finds the skull is welcome to it. At least that's what Dr. Buford said. Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? I told him you were looking for the skull. That's all right. I just... Actually, I told him you were on the verge of finding it. Why would you tell him that? I don't know. I got carried away. So if he lied to me, and he really does still want the skull, then he might come after you. He left right after we talked, and I don't think he went back into that meeting. What if he's on his way over I there? Just... Don't worry, I'll be fine. Why don't you just... Spooky. Oh, that bolt of lightning was huge. Anyway, why don't you just go relax, and I'll be back at the hotel before you know it, okay? Bess? Hello? Is that how yes, cell phones Karen? work? <laughs> nope, she sure isn't. We're on a cell phone. I, j I just think everything about that interaction. One, he, Dr. Buford was really creepy when Bess was talking to him and kept saying like, especially a fine young lady like you. She's 18 and he's like 70. Um, he kept flirting with her, so that's cre that was just creepy. But some people, you know, just give compliments and stuff. But then everything about that meeting interaction, if he wouldn't, if they would have unmasked her and he wouldn't have known her, what were they going to 
What were they going to do? To the... What? Also, like, is it illegal for them to have cell phone? Like, no one in the Jolly Roger crew has ever forgotten to turn off their, their ringer on their cell phone? I'm just a little suspicious. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. I have to put Jean Lafitte. And I don't know if I'm doing this right. I was doing it like T9, but I think you just... Hi, ball! Ooh! I like that one. Okay. Now how many eyeballs do I have? 21! I only need four more. So... I don't know what else to do. Boop, boop, boop. Call bass, have her infiltrate. All done. Did that. Figure out what to do with the key the master buzzard dropped. So that seems like something. But I don't know. I don't have a spot to put a key. Uh, find all of his glass eyes. Yeah, I'm working on it. And the other one was explore the garden. Which I thought I already... I've, even though I thought I've done many times, I guess I have not. Wait, uh, boop. Let's see. What's- this is like- Is this the key the buzzer gave me, I think? It feels like it should go there. But maybe I need a second one first. Stop playing the creepy music. What I think is gonna happen, I think that thing on, on his, um, on Bruno's memorial is some sort of key, and I have to find like the other half of the key or something, and then I can't fully explore the garden because that's technically in the garden. That is what I think. Don't know what to do. I'm gonna call Ned. Hey, Ned. What's going on? I've been having Bess do some sleuthing for me. You're kidding. I thought you said Bess was a disaster when it came to detecting stuff. I never said that. I mean, I may have said she wasn't particularly adept at snooping. Ah, but this is not snooping. It's sleuthing. Exactly. So how's she doing? Well, she was no really bad at it, too. Let's remind her something. There's no stopping her. She's doing awesome. No, she's not. Um, Okay, maybe not awesome, okay. but she's certainly, uh, you know... Not totally screwing up? Right. That's what I figured. Well, you know, she did give a seemingly kind of dangerous man some important information. He knows what, exactly where I am. Um, that seems like totally screwing it up to me, personally. Think you could give me a hint? You bet. What am I supposed to do with a piece of paper I found in the head of that dummy in Bruno's study? Already... Do you know? Read what it says. Did I not and finish that? You can that? find the name of the person to which it's referring in the grave guide that Bruno kept in the great room. When you think you know the name, use your keyboard to write it on I the already piece finished of paper. that. Then find his grave in the cemetery, read the clue that's written there, go back to the grave guide, and repeat the process. Just make sure that every time you think you know a name, you write it down. Thanks for your help. I already no big did deal. it. See ya. It's been done. Should I call back Bess? Because it just kind of like went silent and she might be kidnapped. I kind of feel like I should call the police. Because cause I was thinking like... Taken out her phone or something. They weren't... <laughs> the lightning took out her phone. Yeah, that's totally normal and regular. Because um, she was on a cell phone. <laughs> Unless it took down the cell tower. In which case then... I probably wouldn't be able to call Ned. Um, I was thinking 
they never really described they were really really vague about what the jolly roger crew does they were kind of like oh we just we just meet up we're into like sort of occult stuff like the like the crystal skull but they kind of it felt harmless like it did not feel like they were they were describing anything that was hurting anyone so i was kind of like yeah, what are they doing? But then the absolute second that someone they didn't recognize, which they only didn't recognize her because their phone rang, um, was in, they kidnapped her. So yeah, I don't think they should, I don't think that group should, uh, I don't, that group seems dangerous. I don't mean to be controversial, but I think maybe they probably shouldn't be allowed to meet if they're hurting people. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Do, 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 do. Oh. What? Is that it? <laughs> it's a bone. It's a bone on a spring. The buzzard dropped a key, but I don't know where it goes. Oh. There's another plant I can look at. I hadn't previously looked at this plant. Lovely. Thank you for the plant. Is that the last thing I needed to explore in the garden? I haven't done that. Nope. What's this? I feel like I'm gonna get involved in a chase. And that then I'm gonna like knock the wall. Ugh. Because what is this if I can't do anything? I'm- it's- ah. Now I'm anticipating being chased around the graveyard. This is the key- oh! Hey look at that! There's 22. So if they all do that, 23, 24, 25, those will be my last eyeballs? Makes 25. I gotta go back up to the attic. Here it is. All the eyeballs. Oh. I gotta figure out which way they're supposed to be looking. Why am I not more worried about Bess? I mean, I am worried about Bess, but why is it Nancy? <laughs> Okay, so I have all the eyeballs. Um, can't check that off yet. I need to figure out what to do with them. Turn each one a certain direction. Yes, but what? Huh? Let's see. Um. I don't think I've. I don't think I've done anything with this story. <laughs> at one leg, at two legs, at left leg, then six. Um, something to think about, but I don't know what it amounts to. I have a clue what you're up here. Oh, 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 I'm on the right track. That's the picture. Okay. So now I have to actually look at this and figure out what it really means. <laughs> I, I was correct. 
but I didn't know it. Okay. Probably something in Fountain Matrix. Out hunting West Waters was Canton Garage. Garage? Canton? Oh, Canton Garage? Out where the sea stretching pirates are plenty, a week's worth of looting left their large chunks empty. Down the port was wonders from dinner, but the truth is that these pirates could have been thinner. The villainous vessel was bugged down by booty, they would drop off the treasure, or they'd be scooting. They would foul up to the village and make their right nest down to the mangroves to show their breasts. Oh, it's a beastie, swim for your lives. The calm seas treachery left a surprise. Long legged beasties whose eyes were aglow like spotted some treasure in the hole down below. The mysterious nature did not let it go, so they tore down the hull, hull and alarmed with a pirate started to rake down the structures inside it. It's got these numbers. So, does this refer to the number of eyeballs? Could be. Because not the naughtiness knocked down the ship that touched by pirates and metal in this place. Fire their guns with a grand octopus. That one legged, two legged, that left leg since six. I feel like I'm getting caught up on that and it probably means nothing. The creatures continued with two other arms. The northwestern water wailed and looked alarmed. The pirate's abandoned is not up to nonsense. So I'm not sure what the rather large launch is. But gaggles of gunner, gunmen got left getting gobbled. The creature was angry at its own ink. It bobbled. So down the octopus right to his den, he spit out their bones and sat in the fence. And each treasure, of course, he had not left behind. He'd befriend all these bobbles in a very short time. Long ago, this octopus hidden away, but his fate fell, fell quite quickly one fateful day. Okay. So this is one to five. Um, so the eyeballs can look, can look up, down, oh, sat, left, right, no. So north, north, east, south, or up, down, left, right, middle. So I'll get to turn it back to my page right now. West waters. Does that tell me anything? Um. So one. Through five should be looking west, uh, and then down for six and seven. I don't know. I'll start writing this down just in case, though. One through five, west. Six through seven, down. Bow up, up, down, left. <laughs> so this one has thirteen. Eight through twelve, up. They foul up the village, make a great mess. Down to the mangroves, they surely digress. Ah, it's a beastie, swim for your lives. Calm seas, what's that? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 5. I don't understand. <laughs> 13 through 16. Long legged beastie, whose eyes were glow. Spotted something down below. What's that? Hey, maybe. The strange nature did not let it go, so he tore down the hole and one of the pirates started to break down. So that gives us wrong. Down. 17 through 20. Knocked down the ship. Fired their guns at the screen. At one leg, at two legs, at left leg. Then six with the creature continued with two other arms. Okay. Okay, okay. Don't think it's going on, but I'm trying. Pirates swam, 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 right. Two swimmers and another tragic, and then one going left. See, and that kind of makes sense because it's only two. Right, left. But the other one's just. It's supposed to be done. Eight to twelve, and then go back to. Twenty-three to twenty-five. Down goes the octopus. Right. Put their bones back to the fancy treasure. Of course, he had not left. Behind. Very well. Very short time. Okay. Um, so then, what order were they actually? I don't know what is twenty. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna guess it goes one, right? It goes uh, left or right. So that's my guess. Yeah. I'm gonna start over again. Oh, left. Their large stomachs empty. empty. But it's there's five there. <laughs> exit out of that. <laughs> exit out of that. X that out is what I meant because I was exiting out that those notes. Okay. One through five. Stealthy, stealthy scene. Can't step in it. Stealthy, stealthy. The famous angels went hunting west waters. So I'm gonna go west. I don't know. If, maybe I should ignore that. And they could all be, um... Oh, wait. West and left are the same direction. So they should all be facing west, is what I'm getting from this page. Unless it's less from the eyeball's perspective, but I do not think that is the case. Okay, so then. Six through seven. Down. To the port. Um, and port is left, I believe. I'm gonna put port with a question mark, because it's just They were bogged down by booty. So no, I'm thinking it should be down for 6 and 7. 8 through 12. Eight, nine. They would foul up the village. Make a great mess. Down to the mangroves. Should I digress? Ah, it's a beastie swim for your lives. The calm sea's treachery left a surprise. So that's why I started to get messed up. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 5, and then we have 3 words. Okay. So confusing to me. Oh, you know what I meant. 13 to 16. Long lady beastie's eyes aglow. It's some treasure in the thing down below. Why did I, I wrote down below last time instead of down? Because it said down. Curious nature could not let go, so he tore down the hole along with the pirates who started to break him down, supporting that this is down. But I'm like, should there be enough words on each? I mean, there's clearly not, unless I'm missing something. Enough words for each eyeball that it represents. 17 to 20. Pompanari is knocked down. The ship was touched by pirates and metal myths. They fired their guns at this grand octopus. One leg, two leg, left leg, then six. But the creature continued with two other arms. The northwestern water wailed with alarm. So maybe I should be ignoring things like west? Because now it says me at least, and they cannot. 
represent that with the eyeballs. So maybe it's north of and west. Right. 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, that's four. Okay. Let's try that. Um, okay, the pirates abandoned this nonsense nonsense land. Right. Two shore. The regular taunted. Yeah, that's kind of where we left. Okay. We're doing okay. Here we go. Okay, so then 23 to 25, we have down go the octopus. Right. To its den. Set up their bone traps. Defense into a treasure corpse. Here, not left. <laughs> so that's 23, 24, 25. So that's all of them. So for one through five, I only have two more. Hmm. Should I call Ned? Will he be a Ned? Are you gonna try and offer the same advice you've offered me before? Hey Ned, what's going on? Who's that in here? What do you mean? What else am I supposed to do with the piece of paper? Like, but what? Okay. My guess is once all the eyes are in that green and blue of hidden study, you need to turn each one in a specific direction. Like up, down, east, west, like that. So try looking in the short story book Bruno wrote. Look for words with enemy clan words and apply them to the eyes of the same Within. Right, head down to the bottom. Just don't expect the story you find in the middle. Within words. So I have to look. Even if the word isn't actually a direction word, if it contains a word. Which is sort of like I did the Northwest, but... Okay. Excellent. Thanks for the advice. Do you need anything else? Just call. Let's try again. Except I still only see West and West for 1 through 5. Let's see. Stealthily. Nope. Stalking? Don't see it. Hmm. Cantankerous seems like it should be something, but I don't think it is. I still only see... I still only see... Because I was going to say, for this, for this one, oh, these things have the word nectar, and then I was like, no, that's not, that's just worse. Yeah, they might be that. They would foul up, I'm going to say, eight as up, and make a great nest. I just don't, I just don't see it. Down to the mangroves. I'm going to put nine as down. Even though it probably isn't, there's probably some shit. Village? Um, I just don't see it. They truly digress. Ah, uh, it's a VC. Swim for your lives. VC has east in it, so we're gonna try that. But then we still got 11 and 12 and I only get left. So I'm gonna put 12 down as left. Okay? It's like, I'm trying to like rearrange the letters. Or like, move, you know, like, if uh, if like this ended with a U and that started with a P, would that be an up? No. They would foul up. I don't see east, west, north, south. Down, left, right, in this. Yeah, still a little lost. Let's go back. Stealthily stalking them, famished and anxious. Yep, I still only see west and left. I wish we could do okay. Six and seven, easy. We already have down and down. So it's not either easy, but these ones that the first and the third page are weird. Thirteen through sixteen. I only have down and down. Sixteen, we got down. 13, we got BC again, let's call that east. In the hole down below, let's call that down. So in between, in between, down and down, there's another down. Okay, okay. Uh, Nautical Nautilus knocked down, 17, also down. Petrified Pyrus from Nautilus Myth, they fire their guns at the Spring Octopus, something, something left, and then northwest. Left, north, west. Okay, feel good about that. 21 and 22, Pyrus and Nautical Nautilus went right. Two shore, Gaggles of Gunmen got left, but. Hello. Okay. Oops, I thought I to click. Let's flip through the pages again. Go away. Go away. 23 to 25, yes. Down go the octopus. Right to his den. Uh, and left. Okay, feel pretty good. About, uh, like 6, no, like 13 through 25. We feel pretty good about. 6 and 7, we feel good about. The rest of them should be a win. Oh. C in the bottom. S O T H. Sorry. Is that right? I am gonna be here for a minute trying to figure this out. Oh, we. Uh, no, I see. I saw her on board, and I was like, Lord, but it's not. I guess I'm just gonna start looking for the letter. North, south, west, east, left, right, up, down. So if I look for in, and if I see that O comes after in, you know, it's gonna take me a minute, but. Again, cantankerous. Out H. So does that make that south again? We're looking for the word east, even between words. East. Right there. C stricken. East. Oh my gosh. Is that is this really how this is? Okay. So the only thing I don't have anything written down for right now is eleven. So let's do this same scanning thing I'm doing for this page. So I'm gonna just cross out everything I have for eight, nine, 
turn 12 to start over on this page so that I don't mess up the order. Look at that east right there. C's, C's trench east left. So I'm gonna say east left for the last two. And then east in BC's, and then down, and then up. Do you know how many impressed with this with myself, if this is correct? Okay. So south, west, south, east, left, down, down, up, down, east, east. East, down, 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 left, north, west, right, um, left, down, right, and if this one is, if I'm correct, this one is left. I really wish there was more fanfare, because I'm... Very impressed with myself. Oh, I have that. Hey, I've got that. Okay. I would like to put this with this. I can't, can I not? Where'd the thing go? This. Okay, well, that's gonna, uh, okay. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Let's look at that paper again. Um, so we've got, I have the eyeball, I have the thing, and it goes on some sort of garden spike. I'm gonna call Bess because I she's been kidnapped. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go I don't see anything else I can do in here. I'm gonna save my game because I'm impressed with myself and I don't want to lose my progress. Look, there's a thing. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> there's pokers. Is it a poker? Probably something out in the garden. Hmm. Just double check. I don't have anything like that. No, I don't. Okay. There's a very specific spike somewhere. Let's see what Ned says. Hi, Nancy. Hey, Ned. What's going on? What do you need? Why does it- I already finished it. Did I not? Why does it keep wanting me to ask about the- the thing? Any other time to remove it from the fence in the cemetery? Okay. Nah, forget the hint. I'll call you later, okay? See ya. Hmm. Oh, wait. Is that the shape I'm looking for? That looks like the shape I'm looking for. But then it's not over here once I'm on this side. So what? Let's ask Ned. Hi, Nancy. Hey, Ned. What's going on? Feel like giving me a hint? It'd be my pleasure. I, I'm very annoyed with this piece still being here. Am I not done with that? I thought I was done with that. The rod that's called for in that blueprint. Any suggestions as to how to remove it from the fence in the cemetery? If you check out that wall beneath the rod, you'll see that some of the blocks are loose. I suggest you go around to the garden side of the wall and push on those blocks. Oh. Do that and you should be a step or two what? closer to a getting that rod. Step Excellent. or Thanks two. Thanks for the advice. My pleasure. Bye. Okay, so I was right. It it, it it it's it has to do with this. But do I have to come on this side of the fence? Oh wait, there we go. What? 
Fireflies. Does that count as exploring the whole garden? Jack. 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 All done. All done. Hey, that was the only part I was missing. Oh. That's what he meant by a step or two. There we go. I would like to combine these now, please. I would like to combine these now, please. May I please combine them? I... How do I combine them? Ned? Hi, Nancy. Hey, Ned. What's going on? I think you could give me a hint. Think you could give me a hint? You bet. <sighs> what am I supposed to He's do? He's just gonna tell me to go look at the names. Write down the names. Do you know? Read what it says. Then see if you can I find the name did of the person that. which is referring in the grave guide that Bruno kept so in the great room. It doesn't matter. When you think you know the name, use your keyboard to write yep, it on the yep, piece yep, of paper. Yep, 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 then find this grave in the cemetery, read the clue that's written there, go back to the grave guide, and repeat the process. Okay. Just make sure that every time you think you know a name, I'm supposed to write stick the spike Next. in that spot Thanks on Bruno's advice. memorial. My pleasure. Bye. Let's go there. Aha. Stick the spike there. Stuk. Hey. I'm a genius. And now we stick the eyeball. Boop. Music started playing. Let's go! Grabbing it will probably have no consequences. There's probably not going to be someone behind it closing the door on me. Nancy, oh. that you in there? Goodness sakes, gal, what on earth have you gone what and done? The lid's closing and twist. I don't know how to stop it! Here, I'll pull you up. Toss what you're holding up here, then give me your hands. No, Come I don't on, trust you. Best you. Hurry. Here it comes! She's going to leave. Nancy, you're so stupid. Renee, a little help, please? The crystal oh, Renee, skull. that's her name. After all that scheming, how do I finally get it? Why, this nice little Yankee girl just hands it to me. Renee, help me! Hurry, please! I told Thank you she knew about crystal Bye skulls. Now. No, you Dang. gotta help me! Renee! Renee! I wonder if I can get the alligator to eat her. Oh, no. Oh, it's matching. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, I didn't see anything. Uh, fudge, I didn't even see what mine was. Squiggly line, squiggly line, moon, moon. Finkity. You know, 
just a matching game. Oh, that was it? Okay. Aha! Look at her little footprints. Look at her sneaky little footprints. Son of a boat engine. How do I get to her? How do I get to that boat area? I think it's this way. And then this way. And then that way. Look at that. Renee, I don't hold it right there. That skull isn't yours. This ain't nothing of the fact that you just tried to bury me alive. The skull is mine. It <laughs> hit the log. Yes, I, did my share of I forget the alligator's yeah. name. Uh, Bernie. Get her, Bernie. Okay. Yep. Yep. I told you to watch out for her. She's into hoodoo. Bruno Bollet wanted Henry to have it. That's why he had Gilbert Buford steal that painting and hide it in Henry's parents' crypt. Why am I telling her this right now? Can I just uh, Bernie, just eat her. If he ever got his hands on this, he would just turn around and give it to that trash your girlfriend of his. I do agree his girlfriend is trash. Because he was terrified of dying. He'll be few for two. And that Lamont fella, he just wants to sell it to the highest bidder. But me, my motives are pure. I am going to protect it so it can rendezvous with all those other skulls. I'm going to be right there when they start conversing. And all the mistress of the universe Snap at her. Don't soul. snap at me. Ah! Oh, good. Oh, he's gonna eat it. No, 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 come back! Oh. Is that it? Wait. Renee burst into tears and sobbed as Bernie swam away with a crystal skull. It made me feel sorry for her for about two seconds. After all, while she may not have meant to cause Bruno's death, she certainly meant to cause mine when she left me sealed up in that crypt. It felt good to turn her over to the police. Later that night, Dr. Buford came over and apologized for knocking me out with that smoke bomb and for allowing himself to think, even for a moment, that Bruno's crystal skull was anything more than a pretty piece of quartz. To make He's up a dangerous man. Behavior, he insisted on taking Bess and me on a grand tour of New Orleans. Seeing the city through the eyes of someone who loves it as much as Dr. Buford was truly special. He invited Henry too, but Henry declined. He was still trying to process the fact that his great uncle wanted him to have the skull. Henry always thought that to Bruno he was nothing more than an annoying family obligation. Someone Bruno couldn't care less about. Yet Bruno's request of Dr. Buford, made with his dying breath, proved that he did care about Henry. Apparently, and unfortunately for Henry, Bruno was a type of man who just couldn't bring himself to say such things out loud. As for Lamont, when he heard what happened, he closed his shop, bought enough marshmallows to fill a swamp boat, and has been scouring the bayous ever since. Kicking oh, so we don't know. The crystal skull is just gone. Bernie and the crystal skull inside him. But Bernie has yet to turn up. Maybe the skull didn't agree with him. Maybe swallowing it caused him to stop associating the sound of a kicked log with yummy sweet things. In any case, the Whisperer has disappeared, lost to the world once again, which is totally fine huh. for me. We did it! Yay! Which one of Zeke's hoodoo powders did Renee have in her room? Uh, hiccuping. Oh, this is cool. I've never seen it show all of them. If I would have tried more Coco Kringle bars. So I got for discovering the truth behind Bruno's purloined letter. But I guess maybe I didn't have to do that. Showing those pesky uh Hymenoptera? Do not know that word. I wasp. Powder puff for nosing around all the powders, for guessing the correct answer to the trivia question. Oh. This makes me th so usually it just shows you one. It just shows you like your one achievement or whatever. This makes me want to play again just to get all these. Talk about a detective's dream come true. 
The Italian police called me personally and requested that I travel to Italy and help them stake out a suspected thief in Venice. Unfortunately, what started out as a simple assignment in a city filled with canals, gondolas, and romance quickly morphed into a full-fledged undercover operation. And I soon found myself trapped in a maze of lies, disguises, and danger. Help me find my way out by joining cool. me in my next adventure. Phantom of Venice. So that's probably the next one I'm gonna play. I'm trying. I've tried to play them in order. Um, and I've missed some of them. Cool. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.